Hello guys and welcome to a 1v1 game played between me and Invader Zim again now on Battle Marshes in Team 1 Invader Zim with Space Marines using his uh, nickname Really Rotten and in Team 2 I am with Works using a Smurf name Camelot. Here we have the start of the game on the top side, me with works, going for two slugger boys, the boys hut, and a generator. Standard opening. On the other side, we have Invader Zim starting with chapel barracks, two builders, scouts, only one squad of scouts. Will he add more? He must add more. He adds the generator. Or maybe he wants to go for two Space Marine squads and, um, I don't know, maybe capture points with them. One scout squad is not enough. He goes for a Space Marine squad. Very interesting, non-standard from uh, Zim here. I go for shoot-up boys. Got this point already. Big mech on the way for me. No, Zim does not go for two Space Marine squads. He goes for the Force Commander now. Well, he will capture the map very slowly. He also will use this squad to capture this point. Maybe he thought that scouts get killed uh, too easily by the Big Mac with the teleportation yes, most together with shoot up boys, so uh, yes, maybe this is a some kind of anti-work strategy from him, I'm not sure about that, I see this for the first time. I didn't even realize in that game that he was doing only one scout. Force Commander will be out soon. And this point gets captured. I got almost all of my points already. Much faster cap of the map. 56 to 10 economy. 50 to 10 for Zim. Yes, most beneficent one. At your command. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. He goes with this squad on the relic. He wants to capture also the relic with the Space Marine squad. Foul green skins approach. He who stands with me shall be my brother. This is also a pretty long game. I know for sure it went into tier 4. And there were some massive battles. Focusing the Force Commander him, uh, here, uh, thankfully he focused Shooter Boys. Loses lots of HP. He stays in the light cover, so he gets less HP, less uh, damage anyway. Focuses the Big Mac. I have to go back with the Big Mac. Need to be careful even when shooting. Dealing some damage in here to these Space Marines with the Slugger boys, they have to cancel the relic and fight my Slugger boy squad. Force Commander getting lots of damage in here, he will retreat now under the LP2. That's right, he won some time while fighting in ranged combat to upgrade this listening post. Now he can safely retreat and fight in here. I will have to go back from this place. He, who stands with me shall be my brother. he is focusing the big mech with this listening post. Good job. Makes one more squad of space marines. I went to kill this force commander, it seems. We have three squads of technical space marines from Zim already. Two squads on this side of the map, and one squad in here with a force commander. He also has his scouts alive, and he will get the relic soon. Very interesting opening from the, uh, from uh, Zim in this game. Only one scout squad. 
three space marine squads. That's really a non-standard and unusual. My economy is 110 to 20, Zim's economy 80 to 20. So he's behind in the economy anyway. And that's um, mostly because he only had one scout and captured the map much more slower than me. I have lots of uh, listening posts upgraded already. Four listening posts upgraded to LP2. Going for pile of guns and for 45 work cap, almost tier 2. Here's my map vision, got also this critical location here, getting the second one on this side. And Zim's map vision, he does not reinforce uh, the space marines by the way, he leaves them as uh, that three, four members. And he makes now the grenades and uh, these upgrades for uh, Space Marines and Plasma Pistol for Force Commander and Sergeants. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. On this side, Zim wants to decap my critical location. Well, his scouts will uh, survive. Saga boys does, don't really do any high damage without uh, the knob leader, so scout survived. Here we have first attack attempt from Zim on my side. I have only one squad of uh, shooter boys with a big mech from the army. Now I go for another squad of shooter boys and uh, more Daka research. Did I make the armor upgrade? I am not sure about that. One more banner for tier 2. Has to be done. I also built a minefield in here. So if Zim will try to get on this side, he will get lots of damage from the mines. Adding also the big shooters. I'm able to fight Zim from a bigger distance this way. Also added the Noob Leader to this squad of Saga boys. This way uh, this squad deals a lot more damage. Destroyed his turrets. But I don't think I will be able to destroy this. Unless I will upgrade uh, the close combat. Weapon for the leaders, Big Choppy. Research. One hundred and ten to thirty economy for me. Going for some storm boys, a blasty research and tougher bosses research for more HP on the knob leaders and big mech and other heroes. Still four squads of tactical space marines by Zim. He can throw four grenades. Obviously, I have to teleport away. I just wanted to check, I guess. This is also a pretty old game played in Tangle. Maybe about four years old or three years old, something like that. The Zim's economy 110 to 40, he can go tier 3 once he will have uh, the machine cult or the sacred artifact. I am tier 2 right now. Two squads of shooter boys from me. Pretty good map control. I tried to destroy this. Now I will try again with the help of the storm boys. Only now I go for the more choppy research. So I will have more damage in close combat on the knob leaders. Destroyed also Zim's uh, listening post upgraded here. He adds the heavy borders to the Space Marines and the Sergeant. Chaplain will be out soon. I will probably succeed to destroy this point. Yeah, it goes down. 
And I will decap his relic. My economy will be much better now. His economy decreases to 80 to 40. Mine is 116 to 30. Well, works need more economy anyway in this matchup. Again, trying to engage on this side, but there's still too much army from Zim. Try to attack him from two sides, while also getting this relic from this side. I made a knob squad here to shoot a boy squads on this side. Also, when Slugger boys with a knob will fight. Using lots of overwatch on the works, well, that's how it's meant to be. On works, without overwatch, they aren't really powerful, they have to be reinforced. So that's what I'm doing right now, I try to gather some huge army. Will I get my army all into this side? Maybe. Now I have to go back and destroy this point here. I'm trying to harass his economy and get advantage in this way because at this point, on tier 2 and 5, I feel like Space Marine have advantage in this matchup. And I, and I did not do any significant damage on tier 1 to Zim, that's why I try to do that now as much as I can. Also two squads of tank boosters from me here. Took already this relic, has to be built with a listening post. One Slaga boy only in this squad. I must reinforce it, otherwise I will lose the squad. He also has... no, I think these are the Grey Knights. Making the infiltration for tank boosters, I do not go. I'm not even thinking about going tier 3 yet, still a 55 work cap. From this side I can't really approach because of these space marine borders. Works receive lots of damage from the borders, I can't even try to get in there. So I do the damage on this side, jumping also with the reinforced storm boys now, while focusing this point with the tank boosters. So lots of action, also jumped with a big mech in here, but not the best jump. Heavy borders killed these shooter boys easily. Bad decision to jump in there with a big mech and shooter boys. I try to deal damage non-stop from all the sides I can. Storm boy is suffering here. Let's look at the economies. 98 to 40 economy for Zim. He has one LP3 here upgraded, two actually. Two LP3s, that's why his economy is so good even at uh, on the three strategic points. He also must have the global upgrade, probably since it's so high. My economy is 147 to 30, but I have all the map. Two relics, critical location, all of my side of the map controlled. Building one more generator and I should think about going tier 3 soon. Because I can't really kill this space marine army with tier 2. That's why I will need the gits. Or maybe knobs with tier 3 upgrades, otherwise it will be way too difficult. Zim doesn't make any vehicles, these tank boosters are effective only against buildings. Despite the fact that I have such a huge income on requisition, all these resources go on work reinforcements to keep the fight going. I went to finish Zim already. He makes also the librarian now. Crazy fight 
around the map here. I went to kill him so badly, but now I have to make the retreat. I cannot even try to fight under this LP3 and lots of Space Marine squads with borders. I don't have enough squads to tie them up. They only have one squad of shooter boys here. That's not enough. Also, Grey Knights came out. Another squad here guarding the critical location and sometimes distracting Zim's attention to get on this side. But he is defending with one squad of Space Marines fully reinforced. Not fully reinforced, but fully equipped with bolters. And again, my shooter boys have to retreat there. I'm having a huge army and so does Zim. His army doesn't really die. He made a one-time investment in some powerful army. And when Space Marine is getting such army mass, it's very difficult to beat them. I will need tier 3 for that and I am on my way to tier 3. Also adding the mech shop here on this side. Trying to keep these storm boys fully reinforced. I need this squad for making the engagement together with this uh, knob squad attached with a big mech. So with, with the teleportation I can make really good engagements with these two squads of units. But not, not yet, I cannot risk to go in, I better retreat and wait for the flash gits to get out, or at least uh, make the fight a bomber. Artillery plane can be very helpful. So it seems like we are halfway into this game now. We have 105 to 39 income for Zim. And one 146 to 39 in camp for me. I control two relics, two critical locations, and all side of the map from me. Zim now trying to get out of his base. He controls now all of his points. He must build this. He decapped this critical location and now decaps this one. I make a kill again, yeah, I need that for making also some uh, better engagements. This also can tank lots of damage, he doesn't have anti-vehicle. So this vehicle can tank a lot of damage. Now it's time to engage, it seems. That's what I'm trying to do. Here I jump with a big mech with knobs and storm boys that also go in close combat. Only one shooter boy squad though, not enough firepower. Here come the flash gits finally. I also need some mad dogs. Slow, Chaplain Slow was used on this squad, now it's finished. Seems like the big mech will die, yeah. All the borders focusing the big mech, he received lots of damage and dies right there. Kill again being very helpful here. Uh, here. Not even half HP down so far. Can make the engagement still. And here are my flash gits finally. Seems like Zim also hits tier 2 right now. But his army is still more powerful. I failed with my engagement. All the knobs got killed. How many squads of space marines he has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus Grey Knights and all the heroes. That's a lot of firepower. Very powerful army from him. Making the big mech again. Kill I can surrounded by this huge Space Marine army. I should go back again. I made the war bus and attached it to the flash gits. This can also be a good choice, but I still need uh, the mad dogs anyway. Making more upgrades. Upgrading this point. Also need more energy. I don't have enough energy income. Also my income a bit decreased on requisition. Because my critical locations got decap. Trying to do some damage here with a flash gate, but no. Too risky to get in still. 
Zimzi Khan in 98 to 38, but he invests a lot less in his army. So I need more resources still for being able to invest in some better army and be able somehow face this huge mass of space marines with heroes. Finally, I make some mad ducks, I will need them to apply the joys on my flash gates and make some proper engagements. Maybe knobs can also be a good idea at this point, they have lots of HP with the tier 3 armor. And here it is, the fighter bomber. Something I've been waiting for to disrupt Zim's army, so he will have a hard time now to get out of his base at least. Here I try to do another engagement. I attached two of the heroes to these uh, flash gates instead of the mad dogs. Trying to make an engagement here with the mad duck and I might try to place a bomb. Will it explode? No, I'm not even placing the bomb yet. Word of the Emperor was used on uh, the Librarian. Yeah, I did not place the bomb, it was disrupted. My Mad Duck got disrupted by my own uh, artillery. A bit sad, so I couldn't place the Mad Dog bomb. Still, my flash gates are alive. First commander goes down, librarian goes down, and now I have a better chance of fighting off this uh, Zim's army. Kill lots of units already. I place a bomb here too late. I, I deleted it prob probably right now. Because it would explode around my army. And kill my army instead. And here we have Zim, seems like he's in a very bad position right now. 120 to 47 economy for him and 136 to 75 for me. My economy is much better. And I deserve this economy. I have more, more portion of the map. Thanks to the tank boosters, I am able to kill the Hellfire Dreadnoughts. Also, their infiltration being very effective since the Librarian got killed. And Zim doesn't have uh, the detection. I go for another fight at Bomber. Zim makes uh, Force Commander and Librarian again. Now he also adds the Terminators to his army. He still didn't repair this point. Sweet base here. Zim will try to get out of his base again. Otherwise he will lose. I should cancel this. Yeah, I did cancel. Now I am having two fighter bombers. And the things get even more harder for Zim. We are not tier 4 yet, but I think we'll go tier 4 very soon. Both me and Zim. Zim goes for Predators. He has the Terminators. And Librarian attached to the Terminator squad. Always a good thing to have a Librarian attached to these Terminators, since Librarian is quite bad in close combat, he is good at range, he has good abilities, and this Terminator is also a ranged squad, so you attach Librarian usually to this squad of Terminators, and Force Commander or a Chaplain can be attached to the Assault Terminators, the close combat ones. Also attaching um, Apothecaries to Space Marine squads can be a very good idea, they have better regeneration. So I do not want to allow Zim to get out of the base. His army is still pretty powerful, but he's having a hard time 
Because of my fighter bombers, he uses the orbital, no, he cancels it. Or maybe just the force commander got disrupted. Yeah, huge pain for Zim. Tier 4 on the way for me, 45%. Zim keeps getting his predators out. He went on Harris on this other side with the Predator. Another one comes out and he also goes on this side with it. He does not have proper anti-vehicle yet, he added heavy bolters to all the Space Marine squads, he doesn't have uh, missile launchers. So um, he's in a bit of a trouble because of my fighter bombers. My economy 115 to 71, seems like I didn't even research the second global upgrade yet. Well, that's quite sad, works need the second global upgrade when requisition all the time, as fast as possible. Because most of the investments on works go in infantry, and infantry costs lots of requisition. Again, I see that uh, Zim uses Word of the Emperor here, I cannot go in. His army during this ability is immune to damage. It does not receive the damage, I think, or it just doesn't die. No, it receives the damage, but the units do not die. It works the same as uh, the Mad Dog Juice, or however that ability is called, I don't even know. 107 to 51 economy for Zim, he's floating a bit, he can still go tier 4, he's got enough resources. I makes, make a Gretchen squad and one Mad Duck again. I'm not having any, any Mad Duck alive. Looted tank on the way for me. My flash gets alive, my leader's alive, some shooter boys and I go with the tank boosters on this side to try and destroy these predators. They already destroyed my relic and this point. Some, some pain for me. More sluggers. This research allows me to mass free slugger boys. Very good ability. Sadly it's only on tier 4. At this stage usually Slugger Boys are completely useless and work needs a uh, pop cap for more powerful units, not Slugger Boys. But still can be a useful ability. More looted tanks on the way from me. Having one right here, Zim still holding strong in this position. He's having three Rhino transports, he probably prepared them for being able to Either make some counter-attack in my base, or try to make some proper engagement in my army. I don't really remember what he will do with them. Maybe he will also cause just some pathing or scout the map. Let's see. Where is he going? It seems like he uses them just to tank some damage and confuse me, can also be good. Yeah, also some pathing caused in here, my army gets a bit trapped, he deploys his terminators, throws uh, some smoke launchers from those rhino transports, so my uh, accuracy from the ranged uh, units is worse, deals less damage, while the smoke is around here. Nicely done by Zim here, good improvisation throughout the game. Still, my looted tanks and my fighter bombers are a big pain for him. He throws an orbital in here, I don't know why. Maybe he thought I will retreat and get under this orbital. Yeah, seems like he thought I will retreat, but I do not. I'd rather stay in this heavy cover and fight him. 
two looted tanks still alive from me. The Squigoth gets out, but its population full for me right now. I will have to delete something. Crazy fight. I like how Zim did, even on three strategic points, he managed to do very well in this game. Someone else probably would quit long ago. Well, yeah, thanks to the looted tanks and the fighter bomber, he still will not be able to beat me. Only thanks to these vehicles. If I wouldn't have the vehicles here, two fighter bomber planes, two looted tanks, he probably would win the game. Because his uh, tier 3 army is more powerful. And here comes the Squigath. And the things now will get really nasty for Zim. I try to make this nice engagement with the Squigath right here. Nice. And Zim using one last word of the Emperor here. His units won't die for a while. As you can see, this Terminator is very low in HP, but they do not die because of this ability. Well, now he surely will not be able to destroy the Squigath. I keep re remaking my army, my uh, flash gates. So yeah, all of his army gets killed in here. And he says GG. Definitely a good game. Enjoyed it a lot. He did very nice. He played like more than half of the game only on three strategic points. He upgraded two of them to LP3. He had all the global upgrades and thanks to that he managed to survive until I went to tier 4. Also, he did very well at the start. Only one scout. He did not take the risk to invest some more resources in the, in the scouts because works can be very good at catching those scouts and killing them. So he captured the strategic points with uh, tactical space marine squad instead. So that's it. Let's look at the game. Scores here. He kills more units than me, much more units. That was really interesting. Well, my army size was a lot more bigger. I've invested a lot in my works, reinforced lots of them. On resources I win here, obviously almost 6000 more resources and thanks to that I won this game. Also thanks to my very good vehicles, fighter bombers and looted tanks that saved me. On technology it shows me ahead only because of the reinforced units, but honestly Zim wins this part. Of course, the, all these reinforcements were very useful. Lots of time was won, lots of... Uh, lots of times I managed to stab Zim to getting outside of his base. So, I don't know. That's it with this game, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave your feedback below. Leave a like. And if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe for more uh, videos. I will see you next time and thanks for watching.